Hi, I'm Joe from PH Tennis, and today we've got the new Babolat Pure Aero 2023. Hugely popular racket, so we're really excited to uh, have a look, have a go. So, first impressions. I don't think it's going to be a paint job for everyone. It's, it's not really a paint job for me. Having said that, the racket that I play with, I don't really like the look of it. I like the way it feels, and that's what's more important. So when we get on court, we're going to worry about how it feels and not how it looks. So what's new in this racket? What's in place now is the NF Squared Tech, and that's actually made from flax fibre, so a, a, nat a more natural fibre, supposed to give us more feel on contact. Let's see if that's the case. What else is new um, is the string bed, which they've tightened up. It's still a 16 by 19 pattern, but they've tightened up that bed to give it more control. Um, the spin grommet, grommet still remain, although they're now cone-shaped rather than oblong as they were before, but almost guaranteed to give lots and lots of spin, as is the arrows way. We're gonna get on court now and give it a try. We strung them up with some RPM Plus, a la Rafa Nadal. Let's see how it goes. So we've just come off court. Our team of coaches have all had a play with the new Pure Aero from Bablat, 2023 edition. If you're someone who plays with a lot of spin and doesn't really like to make a lot of mistakes and is someone who's quite consistent, I think mean, this racket is definitely for you because yeah, it generates so much spin. I think that what you get with that spin is you get a real confidence in whipping up the back of it like Rafa or really cut, cutting through it. And whatever spin you want to get out of it, it will give you all of that spin. It will give you everything um, that you hope it will. I didn't find it as exciting. It was a lot harder to generate any power out of it, or it was, um, uh, yeah, kind of, yeah, nothing. There, there was. It didn't feel like there was much, much pop to it. it Say that if you're struggling with some tennis elbow, if you're struggling with sort of arm injuries in general, maybe just string it a little bit looser or choose a softer string um, rather than anything too hard because it does feel quite stiff. It's definitely a racket because of the spin that you can put onto it. You can use the angles of the court a lot more, so you can kind of whip around the side of the ball a little bit, generate a little bit more uh, ball spin to get that ball out to the side a little bit more. The lightness of the head makes the racket feel manoeuvrable. So at the net, if we're trying to find little touches, little angles, also quite nice for that, but very solid throughout, um, very easy to play with. Overall, it feels like a, um, a step sort of, as well as a sort of retro look, it's almost sort of the, the aero sort of gone back slightly in looking at those older models, uh, like the model that Rafa actually uses, and gone something closer to that. So as well as just the look, you've also got the sort of feel of those, of those old ones. A little bit more control, a little bit more bite, still loads and loads of spin, really quality racket. 